Barber seems disappointed in my $5 tip on my $20 haircut. I found a barber that's literally a one-minute walk from my house. I can make an appointment online, walk in for say, a 10.30 a.m. haircut, and be home at 10.55 a.m. It's cash only, 20 bucks. Every time I go in, I give her 20 for the haircut, and a $5 tip. I would almost always have exact change. One time I didn't have exact change, so I gave her a 20 and a 10 and asked for $5 change. She said oh okay then looked down, up at me and said, you said you didn't need change right? No, five back please. Oh. Yesterday I go back in for a haircut. I see the price has gone up to $23. No big deal, the price of everything's going up. That's life. So I gave her 30 and asked for $2 back, so she can still get a $5 tip. Before giving me the money back she says, you see we raised our prices right? Yes. Oh. Then gives me the two bucks. Unless tipping 2025 on a 20 minute, $20 haircut is cheap of me. She sure doesn't seem happy with the tip. $5 tip on a basic 20 minute or less haircut seems more than fair to me. Even with the price at $23, you're still tipping her over 20. I wouldn't think too much into it, that's just some people. Seems like a personal problem for her. If she needs more she should charge more. I had a barber who made it clear to his clients that tips are not mandatory or necessary after he raised his prices to an appropriate amount for his needs. Some still gave tips, but he never stressed over tips because his prices were appropriate for his service. That's the way it should be. I honestly am so sick of tipping culture. You're doing fine. They set the price, which works for you. If they charged more, they might lose customers. You're there. For now. This lady sounds rude ASF and I'd change barbers. I always give $5 on my haircuts. Which are $20.25. Never had anyone complain. Edit how does this comment blow up, but when I say you should tip your barber my comment gets mutilated lmao. IDC, I'll leave it up, too. You should have replied yes, exactly, your prices went up. I took my 8-year-old son to sports clips, and his a haircut was $13. The screen had a how much tip? Screen and the cheapest option was $7. Went up to $11. You had to click on custom tip to enter anything less, including not leaving a tip, which was not an option on the screen. We were in and out in 10 minutes and you want a 50 minimum? I just started delivering pizza and I've never worked a job with tips before, when someone gives me 5 free dollars for driving to their house and getting paid to do it I lose my mind. I got a $15 tip last night and I'm actually dead right now. I kinda am getting sick of tipping. It no longer is a job well done bonus, it has become expected. Too European to understand tipping your barber. If the price is $30 with no tip then it's settled. No one ever gets angry and it doesn't contribute to a black market economy. That ain't nothing. I get attitude if I don't tip on a self-serve frozen yogurt ice cream cone place every time me my daughter get rung up. They literally ask during checkout on the iPad for 1. 10 2. 15 3. 24. Custom tip for ringing us up at the register. Don't tip at all if that's their response. I've been to places like that. Mostly nail salons. Either they want you to only pay in cash or just pay the tip in cash but you definitely can't ask for change back because then you're a monster. If I don't have exact change I don't go because they make it awkward AF to ask for change. If it makes you feel better to know, it's an act. She's not really disappointed, but if she doesn't work you for that extra couple of bucks it's like a sign of dishoner. I fucking hate the guilt tip. My barber is like that will be $25 and they have to run the card, you can't. 
Then comes the how much do you want me to run it for? Fuck you and your guilt tip for doing your job. A quick cut on a dude with thinning hair. Should have reduced the tip to make the total $25. Look at it this way, the price was $20 before but you valued it at $25 so gave the extra as an act of generosity. The price is now $23 but nothing else has changed so why should you value it any more than $25? Ergo, the tip should now be $2. Where I'm from nobody tips, they charge what they think is fair and we pay it. I don't get the concept of tipping in this kind of business. If you didn't like your cut then you're not going back there, they depend on repeat business, so they should just set their prices higher and not depend on money that is discretionary. Tipping culture is so weird as an outsider I had no idea it was expected you subsidize barber's wages. Are you expected to do the same for the teenage Walmart employee who you ask where the gun shelf is? I'm bald but I'd probably find a new barber. Your prices went up, my wages did not. This is why I am glad we don't have compulsory tipping in Australia. If you want $30 for cutting hair, charge $30. Laughs in Australian. Tipping culture in the US is horrendous. Seems like everyone feels the need for their customers to pay extra just for doing their job. You should stop tipping her TBH. The valet the hospital I go to was $5 up to as recently as October and I would tip $5. $10. Now they raised their prices to $8 so I tip $2. $10. Sucks to suck but parking my car didn't magically get 50 more expensive. Personally I would find a different barber. I'm going to preface this by saying I tip the hell out of my stylist. I think it's the right thing to do. But I have a real problem with her shaming you over a 25 tip. Honestly, she can go get fucked. Find someone else. The way she handled this was tacky and rude. As a European, how do you recognize the industries where tipping is expected from the ones that it's not? The whole ordeal sounds incredibly stressful for all sides involved. Where I live, if barber feels like they deserve more money, they just raise the price. I'd easily never go back again. I don't go out to get a haircut to feel like shit even thought it was the hairdresser's fault. I want to feel good leaving the store. Fuck that place and find somewhere new. Tipping culture is currently toxic. There seems to be a constant feeling of entitlement, and to make it worse, many restaurants now use QR code scan menus and online web-based payments. The servers literally only carry your food to the table, and they expect 1825 tip for doing only that. Well, if I'm now doing some of your job, you'll get at most, 10. I always pay £30 for my haircut and beard trim. Including tip. Not cheap, not expensive. The price went up recently, but I'll still pay him £30. He is still incredibly grateful as my prices went up due to expenses that everyone is feeling. I don't expect tips at all. I don't understand the tipping culture. If you want a certain amount then price your goods and services at exactly that amount and avoid ruining the customer's experience. Why is this so prevalent in the US? When my barber worked at the Salon Nevi he was £18 so I gave him £23. Now he comes to my house once a month, I chuck him £30. He never asked for IR expects that tip, and still offers me change, but tipping someone I use all the time for that service just makes sense to me. Tipping is out of control in the US. Earlier a 15 tip would be considered good. Then they started demanding a 20 tip. Now even that gets you a side eye. Not sure what more they want. $5 on a $20 service is a 25 tip. Very good. $5 on a $23 service is almost a 22 tip, still quite good. Your stylist is playing you, hoping to guilt you into a bigger tip when the one you're providing is more than adequate. Her ungracious attitude would not garner a return trip if it were me.